Hey, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money YouTube channel. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the community. Thank you for taking a part of your time to be with us today. Uh, if you're not in that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button and it's free and you'll never miss an episode. Today we've got All-American football player and part of the Dave Ramsey Network, Chris Hogan. Chris Hogan Show every Wednesday. And Chris, now you published Retired Inspired in 2016, an instantly, instant New York Times bestseller. Uh, and what you say in it, I love it, you separate retirement the word retirement from age you say mm. retirement isn't an age it's a number uh, what uh, you know I mean how can people how can people really fit that in their life because I, I know uh, you know the way we think about retirement traditionally is okay you work till you're 65 or now it's 70 uh, so how do people get out of that and, and really focus on their number yeah I think the big thing is awareness uh, when you understand that it's not a matter of hitting a certain age and that someone from the government's going to show up and take care of you it's not the reality uh, the reality is is you know social security isn't going to be enough for you to live your dream so I want people to be aware of that so they can start to do things to help themselves I, I think with the right information we can start to work the right kind of plan but if we don't we end up staying just in this lull and the next thing you know we look up five or ten years later and we have a lot of regrets on what we wish we would have done sooner. So my goal was to give America a wake up call. Right? I wanted us to wake up and start to look at this. Millennials to understand you can utilize the 401k and the 403b. Those are great tools for you to be able to be able to prepare for your future. But also for Gen X, Gen Y, and even baby boomers. That where you are right now doesn't have to be where you end up. You have an opportunity to make some changes. Excellent. One of my favorite parts of the book is your retire IQ, this RIQ. <laughs> Talk us through that. How can people use that to uh, to fit that into their retirement plan? Yeah, well, as I talk to people, a lot of them wanted to know, how much am I going to need for retirement? And I would sit down with people and spend 30 to 45 minutes kind of running some ballpark numbers. So I got with developers, people much smarter than me. I said, guys, listen, we need to come up with something. I want people to have an idea of what it would take for them to live their dream. So our developers put together and we worked together, went back and forth, and we've got this free tool. It's called the RIQ, the Retire Inspired Quotient. Uh, this is a free tool at my website, chrishogan360.com, but you plug in a few data points and it'll show you your big number. What I mean by that is you plug in how much you want to live on per month and how many years you plan to retire and how much you currently have invested. And it'll show you the big number you'll need to live your dream. But I love it that it takes it a step further. That if you are behind in saving, it'll show you how much you need to be investing right now to be able to catch up. Excellent. So those tools are on chrishogan360.com. That is correct. I'll be correct. leaving a link to that in the video description below for you to check it out. And what I love about that is it's kind of a, a goal, goals-based planning. Yes. Now, I think so many people, they have this arbitrary goal of a million dollars by retirement or, right. or just retire early. Uh, and that is no motivation. It, it, that might be a dream, but uh, you know, budgeting gets hard. Spending gets spending is easy, and uh, you know they need that extra motivation. They need to create those goals, that mental picture that's going to drive them through and uh, and actually achieve those. Well, it is important, and I think having those tangible goals there too allows us to be able to look and understand some checkpoints. You know, for us to see where we are and are we making progress? Are we moving in the right direction? And I think people that are informed are people that can perform better. Overall, excellent. I, I love it. Uh, you know, I was watching the watching the show lately, or uh, just recently, and uh, uh, a woman was on there, and she was stuck in baby step number four. And uh, what I want to talk about is not necessarily her situation, but maybe some of the some of the places that you've seen uh, people get stuck in their financial path and their financial plan. And, uh, and, and your advice for, for getting through those sticking points. Yeah. Well, I think being stuck is, is something that can happen to all of us at any phase. Uh, meaning we could get stuck in the cycle of just using debt all the time, right? Or get stuck in the cycle of not having an emergency fund. So I think it's possible for us to get stuck anywhere. I think the key to it is to identify your areas that maybe you're getting stuck on and getting some more information, getting some help, getting somebody that can coach you and encourage you to help you move past that. I think we all need a little lift, right? We all need some verbal encouragement or some guidance. And I think with that right information, we can start to make movement. We can get some traction because here's my thing. We're not necessarily all the time stuck. Sometimes it's just that we stopped. We stopped trying, we stopped pushing, we stopped dreaming. And so I think it's an opportunity for us to have a shift in our mindsets to help us grow forward. Excellent. The, the book is Retire Inspired. The show is chrishogan360.com and, and the Chris Hogan Show. Check it out. We'll leave links to the in the description below. Chris actually has a new book coming out in January. It's in yeah. pre-order now. We can't talk too much about it. Well, actually... 
Chris is going to give it to you next episode. We're, you aren't going to have to wait till January. We're coming back next week for another interview, Everyday Millionaires. And, and I understand you you uh, you interviewed like 10,000 millionaires yeah, for this book. Yeah, we surveyed over 10,000 millionaires for this book. So it is a broad cross-section, and it gets down to the truth of what everyday millionaires look like today. How everyday, everyday people have created that amazing millionaire wealth. That's exactly uh, so right. So smash that uh, subscribe button. Don't miss that next episode, and uh, come right back with us. Join us in the Let's Talk Money community by clicking on that subscribe button. We're here Mondays and Wednesdays with the best videos on beating debt, making more money, and making your money work for you. So if you've got a question about money or investing, just scroll down and ask it in the comments and we'll answer it in a future video.